okay so in this video i'm going to talk about uh, spring cloud load balancer here okay so what is load balancing so for talking about load balancing load balancing is the process of distributing the traffic among different instances of the same application okay so let's say that if you would like to like build a fault tolerant system right so it's common to run multiple instances of each application here we have three instances right so like this you need to be run multiple instances of each application right so whenever one service communicate uh, one service needs to be communicate with each other okay then it needs to pick up a particular instance to send its request right uh, like this uh, cloud uh, okay like this the load balancer will work now if we're talking about load balancing we have a couple of load balancing algorithms we have a, a random selection round robin least connections okay so like this we have a couple of algorithms you can choose like uh, depends on your uh, depends on your requirement here okay so let's jump into the code let's create the project for like spring cloud load balancing here okay so load balancing okay and so this pro this library is not required so we need this eureka discovery plan to register with eureka server and after that we need cloud load balancer here okay and apart from this we need the flex uh, reactive web dependency okay and these three dependencies and let's take lombok for setters and getters okay and generate this project i'm just opening this project in my IntelliJ. okay now let's open resources directory here and let's add application.ml file here okay let's add like spring application name so i'm going to add load balancer here okay and so let's add server port number 70710 here okay and let's open this main file so here uh, i'm going to create the inventory service here okay so to work with this inventory basically i need inventory java class okay so that is model class so let's create inventory model class okay so let's create controller inside this controller package i need inventory controller package okay inventory controller and let's add rest controller here and let's add request mapping okay so inside this uh, you can add like um, inventory okay and so after this uh, after this uh, i need to get the product information right so i need to call the product service here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make use web client here okay so to communicate with the product service i'm going to use the web client here okay so to work with web client basically i need to create web client configuration here okay let's create web client okay configuration here so at the rate of configuration okay and after that we need at the rate of bean class here okay let's take um web client builder okay web client builder here and let's return web client builder here okay and this could be bean class here right and after that um, okay so i need to create one of the uh, one more configuration class okay so that configuration class i'm going to create here okay so let's create more <coughs> one more java class so that is configuration class okay inventory configuration 
so this inventory configuration so let's take the rate of b okay so inside this uh, i'm going to take service instance list supplier so this could be written okay so um okay let's maximize this so i need to create like one of the service instance i will take product service instance okay supplier here so here we need to provide our product service name here okay and after that let's create this class here okay this class should be implements uh, we have like service instance list supplier so i'm going to implement this class and we have um, okay we need to provide service id here okay private um, let's take string service id here okay and after that uh, we need to implement this methods these two methods okay and uh, let's take product service so here let's provide this service id for this constructor i am passing this service id here okay and let's pass service id here so this um, we have a method to get method right so here we need to provide like service instances of this product service here so let's say that if you would like to pass like uh, multiple service instances you need to define here okay so uh, i already opened this um, spring cloud load balancer official spring page here okay this method we need to override so let's copy this to save the time i just copied this okay so paste here and let's import required classes here okay so here we have defined three instances right but i need to define only two instances okay so what we need to do is we have to provide the instance id one and two and we have to provide the host here and after the port number so i'm going to start my product service on 8081 and 8082 here okay so if you want to define like multiple instances you can just define here okay it's straightforward and after that so this is our configuration class and here we need to provide the rate of primary okay and that's it so our configuration class is ready now so coming to web client configuration here right we need to provide the load balanced annotation on top of this okay and after that we have a load balanced client here okay inside this we need to provide the name okay so the name is product service okay and this is invoking service and after that we need to provide the configuration here right so this um, configuration is inventory configuration class here okay this is straightforward so that's it and apart from this uh, what we need to do is in the product service class right so we want to check it out like um, so service related information like uh, client related information uri host and um, other details right so to work with this basically we need to define okay so we have a discovery client okay so this discovery client actually having two things one is like netflix another one is spring here so we need to make use spring client here okay let's make use this and after that uh, we need to log the service instance details here so what i'm going to do is okay um discovery client dot get instances okay and here we need to provide the service name okay so service name could be um, product okay service and after that uh, for each okay <coughs> so <coughs> here so i'm going to make use this service instance okay dot 
here we have a instance id okay and service ID. that's it so <clears throat> so this will print like uh, details related to this service instances details okay so if you want to separate it out in separate methods just um, use this extract method here okay so what i'm going to do is provide log service instances okay so that's it service right c is missed okay so that's it so let's start first this product service uh, in the two instances so one is like 8081 another one is 8082 here okay i think server is not started eroka server first let's start this eroka server and after that we need to start our product service and our inventory service here okay so let's restart this product service one more time and one instance is started successfully and let's start another instance okay two are started successfully and go back to our inventory service here that is spring cloud load balancing okay so here go to our main application and in the application dot ml file right so we need to register with eureka server here so to do this basically we need to define that eureka service url so we already defined in the uh, product service right let's copy that same information and let's paste here instead of wasting time okay and let's start this application here and let's test this okay it started successfully and go back to our eureka server let's refresh this we can see spring cloud load balancing here let's open this and here we need to provide inventory okay so it is not working coming back to inventory service and let's check this controller here okay so this is our inventory right so i did not provide any information here so what i need to do is i need to provide so this uh, web client builder okay load balance uh, web client builder here okay so let's provide a method public um, so i'm going to use this right so i'm going to return this list of products here okay so one more thing we need to copy the product from this product service because it is going to return the products right so let's copy this model class from product service and coming back to this inventory controller here okay and let's provide in the model class in the model package okay so now go going back to controller okay so here just provide product here okay and after that let's import list here <coughs> get product details sorry details okay and let's use this load balance client builder here okay and we have a build get okay after that URI inside this URI we need to provide HTTP localhost okay and uh, our service is sorry here we, we should not provide any localhost we need to define with our service name here okay and after that our path and this is your URI and after that we have to retrieve this and we have body to mono so inside this we have to define <coughs> parameterized reference here so here it's going to be provide list of products here okay let's provide this and let's remove this and here okay that's it just return this and let's provide at the rate of gate mapping on top of this and here we need to auto add this to work with this app client builder here okay so that's it and let's restart this again
okay it's restarted successfully going back to our endpoint let's hit this so we can see some exception here so let's check this exception get instances string because this discovery and okay this discovery so it is throwing some error okay going back to our product service so the product service is throwing error in the product controller and here what we are doing uh, we are getting instances from discovery client here okay and after that what we are doing we are getting instance id okay and after that uh, port service id port service id and host okay here uh, what i will do is instead of instance id i will get uri here okay and cancel stop all okay and let's restart so second instance is started and let's start the first one as well okay let's going back to our inventory endpoint let's hit this again we are getting error uh, going back to product service okay so here we are not auto wiring let's auto wire this okay stop all the services and let's start first one okay and after that let's start second instance as well it started and now let's hit this endpoint we can see the information here okay so uh, like this you can make use this web client builder and now so what we need to do is we have to check this instance details how this instances are calling by using load balancer so initially it is calling 8081 so that is instance one so let's hit second time okay i'm going back to this console okay let's hit multiple times third time fourth time coming back here <coughs> okay so if you can see here it is calling to 8081 first and after that uh, 8081 and 8082 and let's hit multiple times so it should be called like uh, two instances okay so 8081 8082 see first it is called 8081 and after that 8082 and again 8081 and 8082 okay so this is how the load balancer will call these two instances okay one by one and so that's it about spring cloud load balancer so if you like this so please like like this video okay